What is up, everybody? Patrick LaRouge here from Evolve Restorative Therapy. You can find me at livepainfreeprocess.com. I am, I own a pain-free concierge service that gets people out of pain and brings out the best versions of themselves quickly and quickly. So I do that through using my Live Pain-Free Process, and it's designed to show you, give you the tools that works with things physically, mentally, and emotionally. We are now in the elbow month, right? Taking apart elbow pain. Last week we talked about the pain-free mindset of, you know, you can have some changes in your life and it's not fluid anymore, so you have to change, you have to overextend, you have to bear with it a little bit. And you can either uh, deal with change or wait it change out and everything is gonna be able to go through. Today, what we're gonna be talking about, what you can do things while you're waiting it out. So, remember, you're going to roll in because your body's naturally fight or flight mechanism going to kick in and your body's naturally going to want to protect itself. It's either going to crumble, like compress itself, or it's going to roll itself forward. Two different ways, right? What I want you to start understanding is no matter what, you're going to either start stepping out, which is going to start giving you some knee issues, uh, rolling out and trying to recreate more space using a hinge joint. Within the elbow world, what I really want you to focus on is you're going to be out here. Your body's naturally, we do everything out in front of us, to the side of us, so we're naturally extended. But if you can't extend with your shoulder, your body's going to create more movement with your elbow. So, natural thing you can do is try to keep it tucked in. But that's a catch-22 because now you're feeding an already system that's already trying to protect itself, already trying to keep itself here, and you're feeding it. So if you're getting elbow pain now, bring your elbows in, keep it closer to your body, and the elbow pain will subside. It's number one, but it's a catch-22. Number two, you can use a brace. Put a brace out. So when you go out, the brace stops the elbow from hyperextending because it doesn't have the strength of the shoulder. It stops it from hyperstending as much. It gives it a brace. But that's a catch-all, too, because you will get comfortable with wearing a brace, thinking that the brace is the thing that you need. It's not. You need to work with the shoulder as well as with the bicep, tricep, extensors, and flexors of your, of your forearm. You need to work with both of those to get them ready. I see this all the time. People just wearing knee braces, knee braces, knee braces. The only time in my head I think a knee brace is acceptable for long term is if you have a slight meniscus tear. But if you're just getting knee pain every now and then, do your damn work, man. Do the things that you need to do to get out of pain. That's all you need to do. But if you have a structural issue, that's different because it's really hard to get structural issues to bind itself. It needs that support. That's what structure is all about. But if you're having muscular pain, come on, man. Get on top of that. So what we're going to do is you're going to either brace it or keep it close to your body. Those are the two things that you can do to get your shoulders, uh, your elbows to stop giving you so much pain. Then it's a matter of doing the shoulder work. We did that last week, uh, last month. Deal with it, right? Focus on it. Focus on it. Focus on it. Until next time, where we're going to be taking about the bicep, tricep, extensors and flexors in the trigger point world. Later.